All right, guys, welcome back to Cleaning Tip Tuesday. And today we're talking about this thing. All right, so this is Dyson's V11 cordless vacuum cleaner. Now it has a proposed runtime of up to 60 minutes, but as we know, that's not always the case and that is in eco mode. Now, what does make this vacuum great is its sleek, slim profile and the rigidity of the overall product. It's very, very robust, it's very easy to use. Uh, and it doesn't come apart like a lot of their competitors do. What I do like about Dyson's system is the wall mounted charger. The competition doesn't seem to have chargers that work this well. I know that Samsung also has a wall mounted charger, uh, but other competitors just have a plug and play system. This looks very clean. It's very simple and pops in very easily. So the ultimate question of should you buy this versus the competitor's uh, machines? Now, we personally don't actually use these in our cleaning company. We have the Shark Vertex series. Now I do prefer how robust this is built uh, and the straight line tube system that Dyson has come up with versus the Shark Vertex. Uh, but from a cost efficiency standpoint, a battery standpoint, and an on-the-go charging standpoint, we personally have chosen to use the Shark products. That's not to say that this isn't a great product, it's just personal preference. There's one more thing that I did want to mention that I do not like about the Dyson vacuum cleaners, and that is the trigger, uh, that you have to constantly pull the trigger to activate the vacuum. Now, competitors have the switch the button and it stays on, that is one thing I don't like about it. It's not a big deal. It's a super easy trigger pull, but it's just something I wanted to add. Now, the question that needs to be answered is, is it worth the price tag? If you want a low profile machine that's gonna operate for a long time, that has a very sturdy build quality, I would highly recommend it, um, but that choice is ultimately yours.